Hi guys! For more than a decade now, Classic Army Company provides us with the best equipment the Airsoft Company can make. The same as for Nemesis series. What the? All of these guys are basically identical, except small differences. Let's start with the gearbox. The piston has all teeth made of steel, cylinder head and piston head are made of aluminum. Nozzle has extra o-ring for better searing. Now, you can change the spring very fast. If you need more or less FPS, it's very comfortable. This gearbox has this ability. There is also a special control unit with a micro, micro switch. Can you hear it? Yeah, the trigger is very smooth and you can shoot it very, very fast. Especially that 11.1 battery, it's not a problem with this guy. All right, up to this point, those guys are identical. So I'll start from the rear. The stock is retractable. It's got two positions. It's made of metal, all of this. Now, most of this kind of stock have no space for battery at all, or there's a very, very small space for the battery. Now here, Classic Army use this elongated tube with quite a long thread, but it's okay, because you can store in 11.1, 1,100 milliamps battery or even bigger one. As you can see, this is T-Connect type connector, so you don't need to replace them, and most of us Airsoft players replace the standard connectors with the connector. So thanks, Classic Army. Now, pistol grip is made of polymer and it has quite a unique feature. You just pull here and it opens. You can access the motor very, very fast especially if the replica stops shooting, because very often during heating up uh, the connectors, they fall from the motor, and this is something that you can repair at the field, and now you don't need any tools. Now, fire selector is ambidextrous. Also, magazine release. Now, slide release is also ambidextrous, but that's just a mock-up because the slide does not stay in the rear position. Maybe that's something the Classic Army will have to work on. Now, magazine holds 300 BBs. It's made of polymer. It's high cap type magazine, folding metal sides. And these are the features that are the same for all of these replicas. The difference, it's in their front grip. So, you can choose between several models of the handguards. They differ with length and their style. This, for example, has M-lock slots every 90 degrees on the bottom and on the both sides. If it's too long for you, it's got shorter brother, like this one, CQB DMR. Very similar to both of these is that one. Also M-lock here, but here are permanent wrists. They are not going anywhere. Last but not least, my favorite one, I admit, is this one. Without rails, it's very comfortable and those little cuts here fit perfectly to your hand. If you need any accessories, there is a chemo wrist rail here and on the both sides you can install those little guys. They are all in the box. This is a shorter brother that I will take outside and have some shooting with. We'll do the chrono test with 0.2 Espresso Arms BBs and 11.1 LiPo battery. Now, the replica uses 6.03 precision barrel and rotary hop-up that you can easily adjust even using your gloves. 
you frequently ask us if certain replicas work with magazines of other producers. So now we will conduct a small test. We will check if the magazine fits, if it fits, and does it need any help to get it out. As you can see, the original doesn't. Now, Aries from Amoeba, it's a high cap. It fits. Okay, it doesn't fall by itself. Now, hex mag. It fits, it does not fall by itself. This is ENL, also mid cap. It fits. And also needs some help. Airsoft systems. Let's check it out again. It sometimes falls out, it sometimes doesn't. Modify. I can hear the battery is dying, but we've got only two more to check. And there are trains coming, so we'll have a small break. So the trains are gone and we've got still two magazines to check. This is G&G High Cap. It fits and it falls out. Last but not least, it's a mystery magazine. I really don't know what's the producer. I only know it's a real cap magazine and it's made of metal. And I almost, almost killed the battery. Let's check if it falls. It does. As you can see, classic army, it's almost everything. Yet again, Classic Army proves us that it's a player of the first league. The replicas are awesome, they perform very nice, nothing wobbles. Just buy it, guys.